statues of Saskatoon. Sir Wilfrid Laurier and John Diefenbaker, 21st Street and 1st Avenue. A young John Diefenbaker sells a copy of the local newspaper to then Prime Minister Sir Wilfrid Laurier on July 29, 1910. Whether this encounter actually happened is a matter of some historical debate. The story was first told by Diefenbaker himself in later years on the campaign trail. It remains a legendary tale of a chance encounter between two prominent Canadian figures. Denny Carr, Spadina Crescent and 24th Street. Denny Carr was a community volunteer, radio host and Order of Canada recipient. A passionate runner, Carr passed away from cancer in 1999 at the age of 60. The bronze statue was created by artist Hans Holtkamp and installed in 2000. Carr's statue can sometimes be found decorated in various articles of clothing such as toques or sweaters. Egg Money, Sonichin Way and Avenue B. Egg Money is a tribute to Saskatchewan pioneer women. It depicts a woman feeding chickens while two children play nearby. Surrounding the sculpture are the names of 24 women who came to Canada in the late 1800s and early 1900s. It was created by artist Don and Shirley Begg and installed in 2009. Spirit of Alliance, Spadina Crescent and Avenue A. The monument recognizes the War of 1812 as a milestone in the development of Canada. It honors and acknowledges the Allies who fought with the British Crown in the defense of Canada. It was unveiled in 2014 by Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex. There are over 50 statues and monuments across Saskatoon to discover. Behind each one is a story of a person or group who made an impact on our community, nation, or world. What's your favorite local statue? Let us know in the comments below. Check out the link in the description for more statues of Saskatoon. And don't forget to like this video and follow Shaw Spotlight on Facebook and Instagram.